Tonight in Bertie County, neighbors are stepping up to help neighbors, saying they will overcome this. 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba spoke with one woman who lost everything. We're standing just outside of the mobile home park where Cruz has spent the entire day after a tornado devastated this community. Tonight, search and rescue efforts are now a recovery mission. And a mother we spoke to says she's just glad her and her children made it out alive. This is what's left of Kiarta Ryan's home after Isaias brought in tornadoes. One of them tore right through her home in Bertie County overnight. Sound like it was just falling on top of us, like the house was falling in on us in sounded just like the freight train. The walls tumbled down while she and her children were sleeping. Debris littering the ground where her home once stood. The first thing Ryan did was run to her kids. They hid in the bathtub underneath a mattress. The tornado knocked a wall down in front of them, and that's how they made it out. We're just thinking like how we made it out, you know, how we made it out alive. I mean, that's how bad it is. We just can't, you know. This is no ordinary house swept away. It's the family home her grandfather built 80 years ago. Losing everything, losing your whole home and nowhere, you know, to go to actually call your own right now and you have to start over from the beginning. And it's, I know it's not going to be easy. County officials confirmed a man and a woman died. Search and rescue efforts, now a recovery mission. Today, other survivors are recovering in the hospital. Others are seeking shelter at Bertie High School, getting help from the Red Cross. The house where Ryan was raised is gone, and while it seems she may have lost everything, she's thankful all of her children made it out alive. In Bertie County, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.